Brought to you by DCP Player version 2, available now. Hi, this is James Gardner, the Sydney Tech Geek, and in today's video, uh, I've got the opportunity of having a projector open today, and I actually wanted to show you very quickly uh, some of the internals of the projector and how it works. So this is the side of the projector, and we've basically got the, uh, a good view of the light engine sitting here. Uh, actually, it's sitting just uh, over here, and we've got the cooling system for the light engine. I'll, I'll show you from the top in a minute. Uh, we've got the lamp, of course, over here, and it, the light is being forced in through this rod here into this mirror, and it's reflecting it up into the light engine, which, of course, breaks the light into red, green, and blue. And the DLPs uh, are used to make the image, and it's put back together again and shown out to the screen. So uh, that's roughly how it works, but it's very interesting to see that a lot of these, this is a mid-sized projector, we're still using a liquid cooling system for the DLPs, and the smaller projectors, some of them get away with just the air cooling. Uh, you'll also notice there's quite a lot of fans, it's very noisy in here when you've actually got the top off to keep the projectors cool, and there's a lot of filtering usually on, top, on the side here to, to keep the projectors clean. It's very, very important to keep them clean. This, the dirt is the enemy of these projectors. The cleaner they are, the longer they, la the longer they last. So do keep your filters uh, clean as you can uh, in the operation of your cinema. So let's have a quick look at the top of the projector. We'll have a quick look at the, the light engine. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just have a look. Here we are looking at the top of the projector and that's actually the light engine there and you can see one of the, the DMDs with the liquid cooling going on and off and there's three of them, basically one there, one at the bottom and one on the other side and we've got a fan basically pushing air straight into, the, uh, into there to try and keep it cool on that side. On the top we've actually got part of the uh, control mechanism for the lens control because all these have uh, all these DLP projectors or all the uh, cinema projectors have uh, lens control systems for controlling the lens so you can change from flat to scope etc. Um, at the back we've got lots of ventilation pushing everything through the, the um, where the lamp is. Uh, yeah so that, that's basically the light engine is really the key and it's a it's a very sophisticated uh, device. Some interesting aspects uh, I spoke in another video about the security cage there with all the DCI security cards etc and they've got cables coming out of that some, you see some of them there and they go to each of the DMDs which is one of those there uh, which has got a, basically a formatter board which basically turns uh, basically that image data coming off into uh, a picture that goes onto the DMD and there's a, like, they're like little computers in themselves and there's one of them on each of the DMDs so there's a lot of stuff going on in a projector lots of different little computer sections or little computers in themselves working all together uh, to make uh, that beautiful picture on the screen. Here we are with the lamp on. So now we can have a quick look of, at how the light actually goes through the projector. So the lamp's in the back of the projector of course and, and you can see up the back through there that light source there. The lamp is behind there focusing the light onto a mirror which takes out a lot of the UV and then focuses it onto this integrator rod and that rod basically puts the light into sort of like it's sort of like a laser and puts it, arranges it in the best sort of way possible before it bounces it up through this mirror into the light engine. So then it can be used the prisms can separate it into the different into the different um, uh, red, green and blue or different three different uh, DMDs and makes the image and pushes it back together and out through the lens and you can actually see part of the lens there and it pushing it through the lens there. So yeah, so hopefully that gives you an understanding of what's going on with the light from a digital projector and how the light engine puts it all together again. Well, there you go. That's a quick, quick tour of a digital grade projector or a digital cinema grade projector. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and you have a better understanding of what's going on inside these boxes. It's, they're quite complicated, uh, very much need trained engineers to service them. And uh, yes, I, I hope you're more informed and have a better understanding of your equipment and uh, good luck with your transition to digital. This is James Gardner, the Cinetech Geek. Bye for now.